Right guys, so what's up? Welcome back to another video. This is Jay from Work Wildlife here, and today I'm gonna be showing you around so my garden. First, I'm just gonna start over by my strawberry plants. So my strawberry plants have had a good crop of them this year. I'm actually sending some runners out. Well this one is sending a runner. I don't think this one's sending any runners out yet. And so far we've got one free plant there. We've got another and We've got another coming. And then up here we've got a hanging basket which is about done. We've also got a pot which is near done as well. And then in here we've got some romaine lettuces and we've got a nice courgette plant. And we've got some other little lettuces that are stuck in when I've harvested some bigger ones. And then here we've got another courgette. See there's some coming on there. We've got a one of my leftover tomato plants is a big tomato. There's just a few coming there. So here we've got. I don't actually know what was in there, but it's not in there anymore. We've got dahlias, we've got a grass, we've got some irises which aren't doing really well. We've got three little gooseberry plants. We've got a nice Rebecca. We've got a nice beef tomato plant, one of the other leftovers. We've got a morning glory growing up there. And then we've got some sort of like bush, I don't know what it's called, but I picked it up from the garden centre the other day. Just got some new flowering plants I've got in. I've got some blueberries with the last of them on the way. There's one there. Delicious, as always. And then we've got another leftover beef tomato plant, and then we've got one of the ones that I planted out early. Look at the size of that. But these some that have split, that they've healed back over, so I should still be able to use them. It don't really help that the weather's been so cold and wet recently. So I'm just not getting any stuff actually ripening, so I keep all my tomatoes outside. And then if we go through here, and then if we go into the greenhouse, everything is a bit sad because it's been a warm day today. First we're going to start off over here. I've got two chilli pepper plants. Honestly, these chilli peppers are doing well good this year. Some at the back and there's some up there. And then over here, I've got some bells coming. I've also got some more over there, that plant is quite sad. We have got a scotch bonnet pepper. I think there might be some coming, there's some flowers, I don't know. We've got two of my cucumber plants, which are quite sad. I've actually got a mini cucumber there, which you can harvest. It's a mini variety called um, Cucumber F1 Nimrod. It's actually like a really good variety, which I've grown for the first time this year and it is actually really good guys so all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cucumber off I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time as cutting this cucumber off I might just twist it to be honest try to twist it off the plant there you go so you guys will just pull the flower off the end and then listen to this crunch. Like I always say, homegrown food, the absolute best. Then over here we've got my watermelon plants, got some lettuce planted in there. And we've actually got a watermelon coming. It's my first one that's actually started coming. I've had to put this up because they were growing all over the place and things. So, if we adventure out here, we've got some corn which aren't doing so well because they're just getting overgrown by everything. Got some sunflowers over here, which have grown massive. They've actually finished flowering and are putting out side shoots, as you can see. Got a pumpkin that hasn't done very well, but it's still got a pumpkin on got a load of cherry tomatoes which haven't even ripened yet we've got a barbara butternut which isn't it's flowering it hasn't had any ones with fruits on yet though and the other day i was trying to train this round and i actually snapped it 
So I've just put some medical tape and a bamboo cane, as weird as that sounds, it's actually worked. Look, it's carry on growing. And then down here we've got a pumpkin. That one might be fine or it might just drop off. And we've got some more plants coming from down there. Our raspberry, which isn't doing very well. And we've got my raspberry over there, which is doing brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Some more courgettes. And if you can see, we've got some cabbages starting to boil up there. And over here was coming to end garden. We've got some rhubarb. We've got some red beckia there. And in the morn, all these flowers and some carrots. I've also got some lovely, lovely fuchsias. Look at them. Look at them. Trailing fuchsias. They're lovely. Got some spring onions, which I'm going to enter into my show tomorrow. And then over here, we've got some mixed wildflowers. We've got some gooseberry plants. As we come over here, we've got some more rhubarb. I've got a pear tree. I've got a massive plum tree there. And then as we come over to this bit of the garden, this is my wild area. Wildflower patch, just some poppies and all sorts. And then we come over here, got a budley, which is finished flower. I've got my pond over there under that bamboo. And then this has done really well this year, my wildflower patch. I'm proud of it. We've got some raspberry plants here. And then we've got this shrub, another shrub, 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 rose, honeysuckle and clematis, clematis, jasmine, gooseberry. That's just a lot of random shrubs and climbing plants of plant. And then over here, we come to Laster Garden, which is some nice grasses in some pots. Right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.